Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Brambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 14 of Sword Art Online called The End of the World. So we're starting off where they managed to defeat the monster and but they lost 14 people. And so uh, we found out that uh, Kirito has been kind of, he was watching Heathcliff battle. So Kirito was like, decided to attack him full on. Then we find out that he's an immortal object, and that is actually uh, the creator of the game, uh, Kaiba. So, I, I know I butchered that wrong, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, so he confesses to everything, and basically he is the final boss. So he paralyzes literally everyone in the game, and gives Kirito a chance to fight him 101. So he accepts that, and they duel, and actually, which I didn't think was possible because this was his sword, that Kirito's sword actually breaks. And Kaiba delivers the blow, but Asuna jumps in front and sacrifices herself, which was crazy because she was actually paralyzed and she couldn't move. And he made the contingency for the battle started that if, um, if he were to lose, that, he, that Asuna could not sacrifice herself by herself. I can't say the word in these videos. So, um, for like, a, for, I don't know, for like a few days or something, or something like that, and so he agreed, but he did not see that coming, so um, that was kind of like a workaround. So, <clears throat> basically he gets himself, um, so he grabs her sword, and he gets in, um, stabbed with the, um, with um, the sword. And basically, he dies and pops up again and asks him with her sword. So basically, it literally said, it went dark, and it says, you're dead. Then he pops back in for a second and manages to off him. So, with her sword. And now the game is over. So then Kirito and Asuna wake up in the sky and they kiss. And then Kaiba tell, um, talks to them and basically um, tells them that the world is being deleted and that the people are safe and tells them that they can actually log out now. And tells why he did everything and basically like, um, basically he always had this image in his head of a flying castle so that's what he wanted to base it on and wanted to like fly and stuff and just have be lost in a beautiful world. But Still, his logic was very flawed. Very, very, very flawed. But, um, you can, you can see where he's coming from, but still, I'm like... Anyway. And so, he says that they return to the real world, and then he disappears. So, um, and tells them, and tells them who they really are. And so, Kirito and Nasuna tell them who they really are, their actual name, and it's like Kriaga something, but the name goes to Krita. And Asuna is actually Asuna. <laughs> and they're, um, he's 16, she's 17, and she says, I love you. And then he wakes up in the hospital and tries to find Asuna. So this episode was really, that was the end of the episode. And that was the end of this arc. I guess went a strong A. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I said, I mean, just uh, the guy's logic for creating, um, for trapping everyone in the game was kind of bizarre to me. I mean, like, st stupid. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed the fight scenes and the whole reveal and, you know, Crypto Strange to come back and to basically do everything. I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it, that was great. So anyway, uh, really good episode. Um, I didn't go to plus this the whole Kaiba thing. I was like, why he do what he did? I was like, anyway, that's what I did for this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below. I'm interested to see what everyone else thinks. And I like learning different opinions that people have. And yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. That's off the channel a lot. There's no join button, so don't worry about that. It's not a subscription service. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.